mortgage rates start to drop this week as the Federal Reserve hints at cutting their Fed funds rate in September. How far will mortgage rates drop and what does this mean for the housing market? A housing market that is currently experiencing a shift across the country from the extreme seller's market where sellers are getting $100,000 over list price to what's now a more balanced market where buyers have some more leverage in the overall market and in some areas a buyer's market just an outright buyer's market where there's a ton of inventory and buyers have the majority of the leverage will these rate cuts be enough to shift the current trends in the housing market to stop the shift towards a balanced market and turn this back into a seller's market or are these trends going to continue throughout 2024 and into 2025 that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Before we do, my name is Liam O'Reilly. I'm a realtor here in Vermont with Jerry Riley Real Estate. If you have any real estate needs, all of my contact information is in the description. Reach out to me directly. I would be happy to help you. So let's first, I wanted to just have you guys hear what Jerome Powell said that's caused mortgage rates to come down. So take a listen to this. The, with the totality of the data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks, consistent with rising confidence on inflation and maintaining a solid way. That test is met. A reduction in our policy rate keep me on the table as soon as the next meeting. So, so you asked, why not today? Uh, and I would just say, again, that the broad sense of the committee is that we're getting closer to the point at which we'll perfectly use our policy rate. That we're not quite, we want to see more. Okay. So the markets are pricing in that the Federal Reserve will cut their mortgage, their Fed funds rate in September. This is why mortgage rates have gone down. We see here NEFCU, New England Federal Credit Union here in Vermont, they're offering a 6.25% mortgage, which is the lowest mortgage rate that I've seen, I believe since May of 2023 in over a year. Uh, so pretty significant drop. It, it was floating between six and a half and 7.12% uh, for the past few weeks now, or a few months. Now we finally see it break that six and a half percent mortgage rate threshold for the 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And now it sits around 6.25%. What is this going to do to the overall housing market? When we take a look at Redfin's weekly market update, their headline, and I know my face is cutting off this headline here, but it says home buyers aren't yet reacting to lower mortgage rates with pending sales posting the biggest year over year decline in nine months. So we see here that Pending sales are way down, meaning that there's less buyers, less home buyers in the market. When we take a look, median sales price, look at this. Median sales price is still way up year over year. But remember, I've been calling this for a while now that this was probably the highest that we'll see for the median sales price uh, in this cycle. We're at a shift in the housing market. Things are turning more balanced. And now the real question is, when the Federal Reserve eventually does cut their rates, what will that do to the overall housing market? We see here pending sales down 5.7%. We take a look at Redfin's home buyer demand metric. It's down 14%. There's 14% fewer home buyers this year than there were last year. And if you remember last year, rates were going up. When last fall, rates hit around 8% across the country. Now we're at 6.25% and there's still not many buyers in the market with these high prices. Now, we take a look here at the survey uh, out of NorthJersey.com. So this might be a regionally... Um, done survey oh no this is out of bank rate so this is a national survey what mortgage rate would homeowners need in order to consider buying a property so we see here that a lot of homeowners say they would not feel comfortable purchasing a property uh regardless of the interest rate now i think that's just kind of people saying saying that i do think a lot of people would feel comfortable if rates were around three percent or around four percent how will we get there will the federal reserve cutting their their Fed funds rate be enough to drop rates to a point where buyers begin to jump back into this housing market. Now, when we take a look at this graph right here, we see that the Federal Reserve has, you know, obviously they've kept their Fed funds rate elevated, but we see they've been reducing the size of their balance sheet. They've been reducing the mortgage-backed securities that they hold on their balance sheet. Why is this important? Well, during quantitative easing in this last cycle of low rates, the Federal Reserve, you know, coming out of 2008, started purchasing mortgage-backed securities, which they had never done before. So they started buying up mortgage-backed securities, right? You buy a home, your mortgage gets put into a security and then bought on the secondary market, historically by investors, but now also by the Federal Reserve. 
And then where that that interest rate, your the interest from your mortgage gets paid to these investors and they own, you know, thousands of these mortgages in that mortgage backed security. Now, when the Federal Reserve started purchasing these mortgage backed securities, they drove interest rates down. That that's what they did to bring rates low and keep rates under really under five percent for all of the twenty tens, pretty much. And now what we're seeing here, we saw them reduce the size of their mortgage backed securities leading up to the COVID pandemic. And then we see COVID, start, they start buying up mortgage-backed securities, they do their quantitative easing, and they increase the size of their balance sheet. Right now, they're still rolling off their mortgage-backed securities. And one crucial thing to take from the Federal Reserve's press conference is they have not talked about buying mortgage-backed securities. So even though they're talking about lowering their interest rate and lowering their Fed funds rate, they have not discussed buying mortgage-backed securities to help the housing market, help restart the housing market and bring more buyers in. Now, I think the longer that home buyers sit on the sidelines, the longer that people choose not to jump into the housing market, the higher the probability of the Federal Reserve purchasing mortgage-backed securities gets, right? The, the slower the housing market is, the, the, if, it, if the housing market becomes stale, the, the Federal Reserve wants a functioning housing market. If the housing market becomes stale, they will start purchasing mortgage-backed securities, especially if they're dropping interest rates already in an attempt to you know, restart the economy if things are slowing too much. Now, Jerome Powell talked about how he was worried about inflation and how uh, you know, he wanted to see inflation continue the, the trends that it's on. When we take a look at the all items, less food and energy category here, we see that the June to June inflation was at 3.3%, so right around where the Fed's uh, goal is. And the month over month inflation was at 0.1%, which would be on an annualized rate, would be under that 2% inflation that the Federal Reserve is targeting. So the signs from CPI point to the Federal Reserve dropping their interest rates. Jerome Powell hinting at rate cuts in September has given the markets enough signal to, um, to encourage mortgage rates to start coming down. Now, how low will they go? We're not going to see it drop below 5%, in my opinion, unless the Federal Reserve purchases mortgage-backed securities. Now, we're kind of in uncharted territory because when the Federal Reserve dropped their rate to 0% in the past, they did this with purchasing mortgage-backed securities. They did both at the same time. So we don't really know what mortgage rates will do if the Federal Reserve only drops their Fed funds rate down to zero and they don't purchase mortgage-backed securities, if that scenario happens, that'll be a situation that we haven't experienced yet. And so nobody really knows what will happen. But my opinion is that we won't see rates sub 5% because we need the Federal Reserve to stop rolling off their balance sheet, continue to purchase mortgage-backed securities to support that 5% level like we saw in the 2010s or the sub 5% level. Now we're seeing interest rates float around 6%. I could see them dropping to around 5.5%. But I don't believe we'll see rates under 5% unless the housing market gets really sluggish and the Federal Reserve starts to purchase mortgage-backed securities. So anyway, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I love reading your comments and learning from you folks. I'll see you in the next video.